Music.com. The album is called Three. Welcome back to Billy Bob's Texas Show, the Texas Red Bit Roads Radio Show. Justin Purcell hanging out with a bunch of friends this afternoon. Thanks again to Jack Metals LLC in Colorado High Vodka. If you would, please make welcome back Justin Ross, Tommy Alverson, Cody Wayne, Kevin Galloway, Billy Bob's Texas. Yeah. Cody Wayne. Going. Oh, I tell you now, you decided that you were going to do this when you were serving in our United States military. I did. God bless you, son. Thank, Thank you, you for your service to our country, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Man. It's, uh, you, know, you have a lot of time in the Marines. Everything's very up and wait. So I had a roommate that played, so when we were waiting, we played guitar. Right. Was it one of those late night deals where you were sitting around, the card game was over, and apparently it was a fairly safe time? Because I don't ever picture it that way. <laughs> And you just said, show me how to do that? Basically, yes. Yep. And, uh, you know, his, his response was real cool. He said, you know, then it wasn't too cool. I thought it was kind of being a jerk. But he said, I can't, I can't teach you how to play. I said, why, man? He goes, I can show you what to play. You learned it on your own. Oh, really? So The hard-nosed coach. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> but it worked out good. So. Did, you, did you just go in absolutely green on the whole deal? Or did you absolutely. Have, yeah. No, absolutely. You didn't even know what a G was. Not at all. Not even close. And look at you. How many years removed from that? Uh, that started about 2004. 2004. So, so what, uh, 14 years, quick man. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't pick up actually singing like this in, in front of people until like 2009, 2010. So. Right. Remember that first gig when you did sit down and go, we're going to give this thing a try? Absolutely. Yeah, I made $4, so I played for tips. Look at that. And I still have them in a frame at my mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that at? That was in Bremont, Texas at a place called Big Mike's Bar. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you know, so, and they're all here today. Thank yeah. you all for making the trip in. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, glad we're here you are today playing on the Honky Tonk stage at Billy Bob's oh, Texas. It's a dream come true, man. Just a short 14 years later, man. Yeah, that's it, right? Well, and introduce the crew you got with you. Yeah, we got, the, we got the crew with us. We got here on the, the drums, cajon, shoestrings, and, um, you know, spoons. From Kinder, Louisiana, Mr. Corey Cronin. Hello, sir. Then back here on the base, all the way from Zawale, Louisiana, Mr. Trent Procell. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then back here on the, the guitar with me as well from Manny, Louisiana, Mr. Zach Early. Well, you found a bunch of cages, didn't you? I did, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it kind of worked out great. Um, Trent and I had known each other for a long time since, like, I first started. And I always kept, you know, poking at him, trying to get him to, you know, come join the band with me until finally I got him to fill in for us. And then he's like, all right, I, I like this, man, but right. let me set the band up. I got some guys that are going to kill it. And so here they are. Trent looked at you that night and said, you mean to tell me we made a whole four dollars? I am in. Sign yeah. me up. <laughs> That's it. My God. That's it. That's it. Well, I'm glad you boys are here today. Thank Next you all stop, for your time. Texas Red Dirt Road. Right, well, well, God bless you. Thank you, man. Let's have some Cody Wayne music right here. Play yeah, this is uh, the, the current single we have right now, man. And it's, uh, you mind if I tell the story? Right? Absolutely, it's, man. There's a fellow from back home in Kilgore, Texas that has a guitar shop. And um, he, I think I've literally seen him give the shirt off his back to somebody. And so I got a phone call. We were out on the road that said, you know, he's having some health problems. Come to the hospital and come see him because you may not get another chance. And so I took a guitar into the ICU there in Longview and just wanted to sit down and play guitar. I thought maybe it'd cheer him up. Yeah. And he kind of looked up at me and said, hey, I want to write a song. I said, okay, what do you want to write a song about? He said, I've always been a lover of a good old country song. Mm -hmm. And it just clicked. Right there, 15 minutes in the ICU, song was written. And I wanted to get it out and, and so he could have it and see so he could hear it. And he's out now, he's doing better. He's still coming to shows and hanging out with us. So I, love that. I took it from the I took it from the point of view as him being kind of a mentor to all the us and local musicians is, and uh, you know, young kids coming in like, hey man, that new whoever song, that's a great country song, you know. He's like Sit down, let me let me tell you about a good old country song. So watch here this. We go. Yep. Well, cold beer and bright lights. Honky tonk and hard nights. There ain't no no flat top guitar. Music is always what I have been into. 
T-shirt. I'm coming after my three percent. We'll so send you the first copy. <laughs> y'all say hello to Kevin Galloway down there on the end, y'all. <laughs> you know, we talked about Tommy and his uh, his, his heart trouble he had. Uh, was that about a little over a year ago? Uh, yeah, almost a year. And then Cody's buddy, you know, helping him write that song in the ICU. Do you know that's where you almost put me with one social network post a couple of months back when you told me that Uncle Lucius was going away? That is my all-time favorite. I just enjoyed thoroughly so much what you guys did for, what, 12 years, man? 12 and a half years. Yeah. Man. And when I saw that note, I, I think the, the entire world went, <laughs> you know, for a second. <laughs> But turns out it, it, it was not the end of the book. It was just the end of uh, end of that chapter. That chapter, that is correct. And, and the next chapter will be available August third in an album called The Change. Yes, sir. And I cannot wait for the rest of the world to get their hands on this. Thank man. you, brother. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I 
I do kind of want to find out as much as you're willing to tell us how we got to this point. Because, you know, you can watch VH1 and MTV and behind the music and, 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 and you knew that Slash and Axl Rose weren't getting along and there was going to be a demise of Guns N' Roses at some point. But it just didn't look that way or feel that way with Uncle Lucius. And I'm not saying that's what it was. Right. But nine times out of ten, it's something like that. So I want you to tell me what happened as much as you're willing to, as much as willing to tell. You know, over the over the next couple of hours, I'll, I'll kind of tell it to you through song. I love that. How about that? How about that? I'll give you the, there's about a hundred different reasons, and I'll give you some of the main ones. Right. Through music. Uh-huh. How about that? I like that idea. Okay. I like that idea. Uh, so I'm going to start with a song that made the album. Yep. It's the first song I ever wrote for my, my wife. Okay. We've been married a little over three years now. Maybe bring them along every once in a while. Right. But early on, before the kids, uh, she was having a bad day, feeling a little bit emotional. Uh-huh. And I asked her what I could do to fix it. And then I realized that was the dumbest question I could ever ask. <laughs> and I just shut up. Uh-huh. And I held her. And I, we cried it out together. She fell asleep and I walked away, went to the living room and wrote a song. Oh, look at that. And so this is one that made the album. It's called We Don't Have to Say a Word. Do it. Kevin Galloway right here on the Texas Red Dirt Road Show. Yeah. Yeah. When you're sad, rest your head on my shoulder. If you let me hold you I'm only gonna love you You don't have to say a word There's a time to talk it out And a time to let it out Like you said, no, no, you can't do that. 
You, you want to be Mr. Fix-It, but sometimes you can't be. The only difference between what you did and what the common man would do is you said she fell asleep and you went to the living room and wrote a song. My story is she fell asleep, I went to the living room and turned on Sports Center. And, and that's why I'm so grateful for guys like you that have the answer to those questions in song, buddy. Thank you, man. Kevin Galloway down there on the end. Cody Wayne, y'all. Tommy Allison and Justin Ross. When we come back, y'all, we'll play something from Wrangell King, too. Thanks to our friends at the Hyatt Place and the Fort Worth Stockyards, our friends at Jukeable, and, of course, Colorado High Vodka, and our friends at Jag Meadows LLC. We're at Billy Bob's, Texas, y'all. You're listening to the Texas Red Dirt Roads Radio Show. Stick around.